collegiates. Uh, we look like we're in the basement of a house. We're in the basement of the Union, actually, uh, alongside Spencer Chase and Marcus Traxler. It's tournament week. It's a, uh, the biggest week the Jacks have ever had uh, between the two basketball teams as both uh, head to the NCAA tournament. The men are already down there, and the women will leave on Thursday for Indiana. They play Purdue. The Jacks men play Baylor. We'll start there. Uh, what, what can we kind of expect? Uh, in, in what is a, a, a tough draw? They got they got a 14, Baylor's a 3, and Baylor's in the top 10 for most of the season. Um, I think it'll be interesting to see how they play. I mean, what, what can we expect? I think, you know, a very big key to the game, you know, obviously Nate Walter's going to show up, but he's going to be very productive. That's what most the, the most well, casual fans are going to be looking for. They're going to need him to be productive. Yeah, exactly. They're going to need him. Right. But I think two very important players in this matchup are going to be Jordan Dykstra and Griffin Callahan. We saw that the Jacks can win without Dykstra in the, some of the championship game. But Callahan is one of those guys that just does a lot of the little things for your team. He exploded for 33 against USD, but he gets the scrappy rebounds, he gets the defender, and he's going to have his hands full of Perry Jones III. Yeah, that that will probably be the matchup to watch. I think uh, I think Baylor has the right idea. From what I've heard, they're just going to throw two, three, four guys at Walters and try to you know rotate guys, whereas Walters will be playing 36, 37 minutes, something he's used to, but not at that level of talent that Baylor's going to have. That will be interesting to watch. I think the Jacks being a first-time team, we'll see if they kind of thrive on that, if it's something, if they are starstruck, uh, getting the charter down there, you know, going through the, the, uh, the hoopla on Wednesday, and then, you know, waiting. They'll see other teams playing on Thursday, and then finally getting into action Thursday night. I think that'll be an interesting day to watch. Yeah, definitely. And then the women are going to head to uh, West Lafayette, Indiana to take on Purdue. I mean, obviously they're going to be replacing Steph Pollock, who's injured in the Summer League tournament. Uh, what do you think is going to be important in that matchup? Well, I think the Jacks aren't really overmatched, to be honest. I, I think, you know, one of the big keys is that, you know, Purdue really is, is kind of a, a better clone of the Jack. I yeah. and, I, and I think that's, you know, that's important. The Jacks put a lot of emphasis on defense and rebounding anyway. That I think that stuff carries over when you play a good team like that comes from the Big Ten and you know emphasizes those same things. I don't think Purdue Purdue's certainly capable of blowing the Jacks out. I mean that's not that's not yeah. sugarful things, but I think the Jacks are probably this might be one of the more favorable matchups they've had. Oklahoma brought a lot of speed two years ago and it was really athletic. Xavier even more so with two uh, two big players inside. I think Purdue is probably, you know, just as athletic but I think the Jacks somewhat match up a little bit better, and I think having you know, Jenny Sutter, you're not going to have any more tournament experience than those no. guys have being in uh, three times prior. So this will be very interesting. I, I think, you know, what will we see from the Jacks? It's hard to tell, but I don't think they're going to be starstruck. I mean, that's no. that for as many times as they've been there. It's kind of a different situation than the men where they've been there before. They know what to expect. Right. And I think something that's going to be very important is how can the Jacks keep their post players out of foul trouble? Yeah, that's Just Coach Aaron Johnson said that Purdue is a very big physical team. They're they're going to beat you up, quite yeah. frankly. That's something the Jacks have been able to do. But now they're facing, like you mentioned, a bigger clone of themselves. Right. And so it's going to be very important for, you know, a Jenny Sunberg, Leah Needle, Katie Lingle, and that group to be able to keep themselves out of foul trouble and keep productive in this game. Yeah, I, I think uh, in Wednesday's paper, Spencer will have a story on uh, previewing the game, and the one thing that kind of comes away with it is that you know both the players and the coach feel that they were complacent in their, in their previous uh, trips to the NCAA tournament. I don't think that will be the case this time. I think they'll play a lot better. So, um, final thoughts on, on maybe the men's game uh, quickly. You will, I will be going to Albuquerque. You'll be going to West Lafayette. Yeah. We're splitting up. Uh, yeah, it's, but it's, it's going to be awkward. I'll miss you. It's, it'll be tough, but a little bit of a diversifying our, our uh, assets. So, uh, thoughts on the men here, quick. I think you know it's it's going to be a big day for South Dakota basketball. And, yeah. You know, there's really no way to get around that. I think the, what's going to be important for the men is not getting starstruck, yep. not getting caught up in the moment and realizing, holy cow, we're in the NCAA tournament. Might as well win a few games while we're right. here. Right. Yeah. And I think on the women's side, I think the Jacks will not be. Uh, they will fare well. I, I just I just don't see them getting blown out. To be honest, I, mean, I think that's kind of they got they, were, they got ran over last year where the game yeah. kind of got away from them. And Oklahoma, they played well all the way through. I, I think they play well again. Hard, hard team if they're going to win. I will say this, though. If they get past Purdue, I think that's a decent matchup on Monday night. Yeah, definitely. We so could see the Jacks in the Sweet 16. That would be, and that's that goes back to the whole we're advancing the program thing from the SDSU standpoint. So, um, like me, like I mentioned, I'll be in New Mexico starting on Wednesday, and we'll have some plenty of coverage and uh, live blogs and the like. You'll be in West Lafayette starting Saturday, and for as long as the Jacks are in Indiana, 
Spencer will carry the, the uh, Collegiate's torch. Uh, we'll have all kinds of coverage, stories, videos, uh, live blogs during the game. It uh, should be a lot of fun. Thanks, everybody.